Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're going to be playing Altertron, doing some testing, trying to figure out where I sit and where I want to be. I know people have Popper Geddon coming up real soon, so we want to try and provide the best possible list for you, the player. Uh, what is going on here and what have we changed? This list is very similar to old ones, but instead of playing four Conjurer's Bobble, I've got two of them. And I'm playing, I'm not playing the teachings package with the frantic salvage, but what I found is with the bauble and the fountain, you can actually use a loop where if you have infinite mana, you can loop uh, blood fountain with the two retrievers to get back any, um, any artifacts from your graveyard over and over. So you can get back conjurer's bauble over and over. Uh, conjurer's bauble says sacrifice, put up to one target card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library and draw a card. So we can use Blood Fountain to continuously get back two Mirror Retrievers. Sacrifice one Mirror Retriever. It says return another card target artifact from your graveyard to your hand. That Retriever is going to get back a Blood Fountain. The second Mirror Retriever is going to get back a Conjurer's Bobble. And then we do it over and over. We get back everything from our graveyard and uh, we draw our deck. This is great because we only have one makeshift munitions to ping the opponent with and we can get it back infinitely basically. I found that in order to have Tron quickly, we want to have the two crop rotations plus the four expedition maps. And then we have our Tron lands over here. I'm supporting the mana with two swamps, two grottos, and then one polluted mire, which is a cycling land that we can fetch with the expedition map. For our colored sources, in this league I'm deciding I'm going to trim on one colored source, just playing four chromatic star and three energy refractor. Refractor is very specifically important for the blood fountain. Um, so I don't want to cut those from the list, but I want to keep them. And I decided that I really like the raw card draw from Deadly Dispute and Reckoner's Bargain over something like Ancient Stirrings. So I decided to play six Disputey effects. And then the big change here is that we're going deep, deep, deep on combo. We're playing three Ashnod's Altar, which is the sacrifice of creature and add two mana. And uh, if you're not familiar with it, Mirror Retriever costs two mana exactly, so you can sacrifice Mirror Retriever and return a Mirror Retriever over and over and over and over. This gives us infinite counters on our Golem Foundry. We can make infinite 3 3 color colorless Golem artifact creature tokens, which makes infinite mana. And we can use our infinite mana and infinite creatures to shoot our opponent infinite times with makeshift munitions. The new card here uh, from the last set that I've been playing, but it is Mere Kinsmith. When it enters the battlefield, you can search your library for a Mere card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle. So you have the option of having Ashnod's Altar in play, playing Kinsmith, get Retriever, sacrifice the Kinsmith, play the Retriever, sacrifice the Retriever, get the Kinsmith, get the, play the Kinsmith, get the second Retriever, and then start looping. Which means that your, your loop can start with just one Kinsmith in your hand. So you don't have to have as many cards to start the combo. In the sideboard here, not too much has changed. Um, playing three Nile Spell Bombs, two more Weather Storms to round out the package, just two Fangren Marauders. I felt like that's enough. Three Clark Clan Shamans and two Scatter Shots for board wipe type shenanigans. And then uh, one Ancient Grudge with two Serene Hearts here to try to uh, beat Bogles. I suppose we could. The reason I'm playing two Serene Hearts is because I want to be able to draw them on time but maybe this should be a teachings i don't really know hmm. there might be space in the list for teachings previously i was not playing this th the fourth golem foundry and i had teachings in the main deck which means that you could go like this put teachings over here maybe we'll just do that okay so this is basically the list i've been playing for a very long time all right that's fine so Essentially, we want to draw one of each of these, and then we can teachings. This allows us to play one-offs over here. We have an additional golem foundry that we would bring in when we are playing against Fey and stuff like that. This, I think, has been my most successful list overall. And uh, as you can see, I was trying to tweak and tweak and tweak, and I just come back to it. So let's run it through a league and see if it'll perform. We'll see you there. Oh, don't forget to uh, check out the Patreon if you want the sideboard guide for this kind of thing. And uh, patreon.com slash guys. Check out uh, the different posts I have there. And uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think. We'll see you in the videos. Okay, round one, we have Mirror Retriever Foundry. We also have Map. I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to lead on turn one tower into Map. In case I draw... Okay, so he's on Fogtron. Most likely. Go land map. 
Beating Fogtron with this deck is a huge pain, especially if they have Weather the Storm. But we can do it. It's going to go for the Impulse. What we likely want to do here is go Grotto, immediately crack for a Mine. Yeah. And then we can use the Scry. If we draw on a Power Planet, we have obviously gotten the next land. Deadly Dispute, I'm going to keep on top. So I can actually play the Mirror Retriever and then Dispute the Retriever to get the, the map. I think I might just play out my uh, Golem Foundry though, start pressuring. They could have an Unwind. We'll see. This cannot be countered by Prohibit. Looks like they're going to let that resolve. So let's see what uh, Heisen has here. Tron. Muldrifter. Tron, Wall for Impulse. Okay. Uh, so we can Wellspring, Dispute Wellspring, or we can Retriever, Dispute Map. I think I'm going to Wellspring, Dispute Wellspring. Because that uh, gets me the most cards. Kind of gets me deeper towards the uh, Altar as well. Or I can just play out the Mirror Retriever. They'll dispute the Wellspring, though. All right, let's play Bobble. Play the Bobble, and then we're going to sacrifice it to, on their turn, so I don't have to discard. But we're going to sacrifice it to get back the Deadly Dispute, put that back in the deck. Here we have the Kinsmith, so we have the full combo in hand, uh, other than the Astronaut's Altar. And looks like they're going to pass. Get back to the Deadly Dispute. Looking to draw into a Power Plant now. Didn't. So we'll try playing the Mirror Retriever. No counter. All right. Um, gonna dispute the or bargain the retriever, getting back the map. So that has to resolve. He could, but you could bog me, I guess. Just going to crop for bog. All right. Stinks for sure. We do lose one retriever. We do get to draw two cards. Uh, we have not made a land drop yet, so we could draw into the power plant. We didn't. Play land, play star, uh, make a creature, pass a turn. It's going to be uh, kind of difficult to win from here since we have to find the combo into uh, makeshift munitions. Usually we can figure out a position to actually find the infinite loop combo. All right, we find the astronaut's altar. Okay, step one, we will attack. We have the refractor, so if we get Tron online, we can easily make all the mana. Let's dispute the star to draw three. And draw three. Another refractor. Find crop. So they only have one blue mana. I think I will play out the altar here. If they counter this, then I can um, suck it. They decide not to. All right, so they could have a flicker. I suppose I'll just play the star out. Pass the turn. Now we're trying to play around Flicker on Bog, I guess. They have an Impulse. Nothing we can do about that. Okay, they untap. Play an Island. So they have two blue sources now. Seven, eight, nine, ten mana. They're going to play another wall to get back the Impulse. So we could potentially try to get them here. This is where end step crop for bog for uh, tower is probably where, or not tower, but power plant. Green crop. Try to get power plant. They are going to allow it. Let's also make a creature. Okay, first I'm going to attack with everything. And they're obviously going to block. Let's make a creature, or play a refractor and draw a card. All right. Weather the storm's not helpful. I'm looking for a blood fountain so I can play through uh, a flicker. There's a blood fountain. Okay, play that. Okay. Play Kinsmith. The Kinsmith will resolve. We're going to grab a retriever. Play the retriever. So all we have to do is get them to tap out while having a loop available, and then we win the game. So play a star. And then we will sacrifice this Kinsmith, sacrifice the Retriever, try to get back Kinsmith. Since we have the second one in hand, we immediately just win. He's 
that stinks. Okay, so no, it doesn't matter. Mirror Kinsmith. We don't immediately win, I guess, at this time. Yes. Get the Retriever. Sack the Kinsmith. Play the Retriever. So now we just start looping. I don't know what's going to happen here. We have enough mana now to uh, just Blood Fountain and everything back. Okay, what are you going to do, man? So he could like flicker on the bog right now, and then I'll get back the two rare retrievers. So I do lose the blood fountain. <sighs> okay. This smells like a weather the storm to me, which is annoying. We're gonna keep looping. Hmm. All right, whatever. Let's see how much uh, time wasting we get to do. Let's do this. Sacrifice this. Black. We will beat a weather here. Um, it's just about you know clock at that point. All right, very very kind. Hyson is a good dude. <laughs> We're bringing in the spell bombs. We're bringing in the ancient grudge. Gonna cut the uh, crops, I think. <sighs> We can cut the Weather the Storms completely. Maybe we don't need the Golem Foundry. Basically all we need to do is like, I do like Scattershot kind of, as, no, let's bring that in as a one-off. Then we can trim on some things. Let's trim one map. Hmm. I don't really want to be slow. Okay, we're gonna cut this. Just trim on one Kinsmith. So we have Teachings for Scattershot or Grudge. We just have a kinsmith over here. That uh, should be fine. So he said he forgot the blood token. I said, yeah, it's a quite a bit of effort on Magic Online to, to accomplish this task. Hmm. We could consider trimming a bobble here and going back up a crop or a kinsmith. Mm, let's go up a crop. Submit that way. I don't know if that actually got submitted. No. So we have Nile Spellbomb, we have uh, a map and a star. I'm going to keep. So with 17 lands, you have a s pretty good probability to hit another land in your top three. And this draws us three cards here. So we can go mine into star, turn two, crack the star, play the bobble. So we get to draw a card, then we draw one, two, three cards. They play a thriving land. All right, we are going for the try to cantrip into a land plan. <laughs> Oh, uh, geez. Well, they've lived on lands too. Draw a card. Play Bobble. Try to draw a card. We just won't put that in the deck. We whiffed. So we'll put back a star. Or we'll discard a star, I mean. Everybody's whiffing on lands. Now they, they find their second land. So if we find a land here, we're golden. But if we don't, we're in a lot of problems. We did not. Play map. Okay, they're making their land drops. We are not making land drops. I think I'm going to concede. That was unfortunate. Let's look at the next ones. Yeah, okay, so we took the risk. It was a, it was a risky maneuver. I'm still going to uh, run this back. Plant mine map. Okay, great hand. Turn through Tron, and we have some cantrips. And we can t teachings for Deadly Dispute. We also teachings for Ancient Grudge to take out their refractors. Lay out this map and pass. They go for Thriving Land on red. I wonder what that means. Maybe for Pyroblast? Maybe for the Ancient Grudge? Probably for Ancient Grudge. They play a tower and they're going to play out a refractor. So like I said, we can teachings to blow that up. Play a Wellspring. Draw a card. Chromatic Star, let's go blue, and then I'm going to Teachings for Deadly Dispute. Whoops. So this costs six. All right, we cannot current seven. Can't currently um, Teachings for the Ancient Grudge and take out the Refractor, but they're kind of whiffing on their lands right now, so it's probably okay. We have the Makeshift Munitions in hand. Feel decent about it. I think I'm going to lead on Star, Crack Star, Dispute the Wellspring. Star on 
black. And then we'll dispute the wellspring here. See if we can draw into some more stuff and find a Nile spell bomb. Well, we're clearly playing that out. Okay, so here comes Golem Foundry into spell bomb. Okay, so that's going to resolve, play out this land, play a Blood Fountain, and pass a turn. We're leaving up the spell bomb activation. And on this next turn, I'm probably going to. Do I want to teachings for. Hmm. I guess I don't need the teachings. Yeah, okay, let's play out this Wellspring. Draw a card. We draw a mine. So we can now. Hmm. Let's use this mana. And then we'll bargain the Wellspring, draw some more cards. Just think it's important to keep drawing, 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 drawing. Okay, play Refractor. Okay, and then we're going to have Land, Spell Bomb, and a Star. Now we have six power on the table. Let's see what they do. We're going to lose our Teachings to a Bog if they go for a Bog. They're going to Teachings. For Crop Rotation, let's just... Oops. Black here. We'll Bog them out. I mean, uh, Spell Bomb them just to give her their teachings. And then I will blood token away at mine, since I already have one in the battlefield. Pass the turn. We still have one more Spellbomb activation up. They're going to crop rotation for Tron. And on our turn, we can teachings for the Ancient Grudge to try to take out the Refractor. <laughs> Taking off their colored sources would be very good. Crop. I don't see them getting anything other than Tron here. They do get the Tron lands. They're going to kill one of my lands. Okay. Well, that stinks. I suppose they'll probably also flicker. They take out a power plant. And they have the Ephemerate. That blows. So, uh, we might be able to do something here. My turn. Land. Play Altar. Okay, step one. We can, we can Ancient Grudge this right now. We can play the Makeshift Munitions and kill the Fault Grinder. Let's attack. Maybe that was a mistake. Two. Okay, let's think this through. That happens. Land, land, or mana, mana, play Mirror Retriever. Okay, sacrifice the Retriever, get back the Chromatic Star, play the Chromatic Star, sacrifice it for red. Okay, we have infinite mana now. Ba boom! Mirror Retriever. We got him! Whew! Tight. And we will see you in round two. Round two, we're on the play. That's where we want to be for sure, especially in this format. We're going to keep this because we have the expedition map. Play land. I want to play this land first because the grotto. So if I see a mine or something, it's important to know. I think I do not want the refractor at the moment. Play out the expedition map. I'm just looking for my other Tron lands. We will just go ahead and pass the turn uh, using the F8 button. They are on red. Go land. We're going to grab a mine and then play turn three Golem Foundry and just start to try playing out artifacts. Uh, with that red, uh, with the mountain in play, we're basically looking for them to not be um, Blitz. They lead on Lava Dart, which could be Blitz. Yep, oh, come on. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to easily lose this game. That stinks. I don't think that Mono Red Blitz is like highly prevalent in the metagame, but I always face it. They're just gonna go Manamorphos, Lava Dart U, uh, Teamer Battle Rage, GG. Step one, you play the Manamorphos. Step two, Teamer Battle Rage. Step three, Lava Dart. GG. Lightning Bolt. Okay. Lightning Bolt. Well, I mean, you know, they had it no matter what, I guess. We don't really have a good sideboard for this. 
Basically, we are just going to play the life gain Karkland Shaman plan. Getting rid of everything. Um, do I, is there anything I want to bring back in? Scattershot, maybe. Maybe one Astronaut's Altar. One Teachings. Maybe I should have brought the Scattershot in. So anyway, what we want to do is try to wipe the board on turn three. I don't know if it's going to work out. And then uh, try to set up a bunch of life and then win with board wipes with Karkland Shaman Blood Fountain and then ping them out with makeshift munitions eventually. It's pretty much the same plan as versus the red deck. Okay, we're on the play. We have turn three Tron. Keep. <laughs> what can we do with turn three Tron? I don't know, but hopefully it'll be enough. We have Tron, and we can at least Deadly Dispute one time. Land map go. Make sure we actually pass the turn. <laughs> okay, our opponent is going to lead on a Mountain and a Swifty. It's a powerful play. It's basically uh, the way Popper is. Land, Swift Spear, go. We're going to map for a mine. And pass the turn. They're going to go land, Kiln Fiend, attack. Put me to 18. So the only option here is to play star, crack for black, play star, deadly dispute the star, and see what happens. Mine, star, black. If we draw a crack at the moment, okay, so that did not, that's close to being good for us, but didn't work out. We deadly dispute this chromatic star. Looking for a weather the storm at the moment. We can play another chromatic star. If this, if this hits Weather the Storm, we're good. Dispute this. No star. We find the Krark. Too late, though. So we play the Conjurer's Bobble and pass the turn. So we are probably dead. If we're not dead, we will definitely win because we have, what, like 25 life we can gain here? But, you know, I don't think our opponent would keep a hand that doesn't win on turn three. We drew... Eight, we saw 18 cards in our deck and did not find the Weather of the Storm. They play, like, they play a Festival Crasher, giving us a lot of hope here. Oh my goodness. <sighs> they decline. Okay, they bash. We take two. Okay, so how can we play everything out? I think I play the Refractor. I find a mine. So I have eight mana. I can play the Fangin Marauder plus the Kark Clan Shaman. Eight green. Yes, play Fangin Marauder. Crack for red. Mm hmm. We will always yes to that. And then we can do two things we can play the Kark Clan Shaman and attempt to wipe. Or we can play the Conjurer's Bobble. But I think we're already into this board white plan. Hopefully they can't uh, save both their creatures. Pass the turn. Really want to get the Kiln Fiend off the table, basically. They could, they're they going to Apostles Blessing their Kiln Fiend. Okay, so they save everything. That definitely stinks. I guess we see what they do pre-combat. Three cards in hand for the opponent. So they can cast three spells, which is 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 17 damage, 18, 19, 20 damage. They decline to attack. Okay. So we play the Refractor. This is pretty good. Finding that uh, Wells, uh, Blood Fountain. Black, play Blood Fountain. We get to uh, make a token. And then we play Bobble. Play Acre Wellspring. I don't know why I did it that way. Okay, we have Crop Rotation. <sighs> Mine. Tap. I'm I'm playing loose here, I think. Crop here. Grab a tower. Bobble back the Deadly Dispute. Find another Deadly Dispute, that's nice. Let's dispute the Wellspring. Gain a bunch of life. Find a Mirror Retriever. Okay, okay, okay. We can play a Mirror Retriever as another blocker. Then we can Treasure Token, Blood Token, gain 10. I think we're good now. 
And we can Blood Fountain back the uh, Car Clan Shaman and hopefully wipe their board this time. Opponent did not keep a turn three win, and that was a mistake. So now they have to think it through. Okay. Attack step. No attacks for the opponent. All right. Land. Green. Play the Svengren Marauder out. And then I'm going to get back the Car Clan Shaman. Always a yes. So we'll yield, and always yes to that. Then we'll play out the Shaman. Let's play Wellspring first. We could draw a card. Play out the Shaman. I'm going to attack with my Marauder. See if they start blocking. They are not going to block. All right. The plan is working. Interesting that we drew our both both of our Marauders. We're at 61 life. They could definitely still win. It's going to be tough, though. And when we sacrifice the Mirror Retriever, we have to make sure we get back the Blood Fountain. Okay, beginning of combat step. They are going to decline to attack again, it appears. Okay. Let's Grotto do some Scry action. Now I'm looking for, well, I guess Weather Storm's okay. I don't think I need it right now. We're going to go Chromatic Star. And then I'm going to Reckoner's Bargain. But I don't know what yet. Let's Reckoner's Bargain on the Mirror Retriever. Get back the Blood Fountain. Okay. Looking for munition still. Wellspring. Okay, play the Wellspring out. We got a Weather Storm coming. Okay, we're gonna go black. Play the Blood Fountain. This time I am going to use one of the Blood Tokens, discarding a Swamp. We're at 93. Okay, I can play Expedition Map for the Polluted Mire. Cycle that. Let's see if I draw anything else. Cycle. We found an Ashnod's Altar. So we can keep wiping them out. Let's attack. Yeah. On their end step, I'm going to try to wipe their board. Sacrificing Wellspring, Wellspring, Blood Token, I think. I feel like at this point I win. Okay, I do. Sweet. Let's go to sideboarding. Don't think Ashnod's Altar is necessary. It's a little bit too slow. But nothing else is going to help, really. The only thing is maybe like the scatter shot can help. Let's try that. I don't know. Like, basically, we just need to get turn three Tron, a little bit of storm, and do something. So that can that something can be the scatter shot. It can be the weather of the storm. It can be... Maybe Fang Marauder, maybe Car Clan Shaman. Don't know. Okay, this hand is not gonna do it. Mulligan. Mulligan again. We have triple tower and nothing else. Going to f what, four? Okay, keep. We'll put back land. Land. Dispute. Actually, like this. There's literally, I feel that there's no way of it that we can win here. They kept seven. Go for the turn one fancy Swift Spear. Okay. Land Swift Spear go. Grotto looking for something good. Power plant, not helpful. Play map. Our opponent leads on a mountain. They're going to play the Festival Crasher, which doesn't necessarily kill us this turn, but there's very little chance. Okay, we take it. We will play the Wellspring, trying to draw some cards. We have to get really lucky now, like draw into a land, Deadly Dispute. Or they just have nothing in hand would be cool too. We're going to be going on to round three quite quickly here. Our opponent casts Manamorphose. So right now they have five power. They cast Lava Dart. Then they can flash back the Lava Dart. Right, so this is 8, 9, 10, 11. They're going to Looting. I feel like I would have cast the Looting first. Because you could just discard the Lava Dart. They have double, double Mountain. We're going to take 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, okay, that's the game. I don't know what... 
I feel like they thought about that and counted for too long, but it's fine. We'll go to round three. Round three versus counter target spell. So, you know, I'm just going to guess that they're most likely a burn player. No <laughs> mulligan. Uh, so what land do I want the least? I guess it's going to be the power plant. If this is fairies, we're well set, but um, we'll see what happens. I knew it. <laughs> I freaking knew it. Okay. Grab the mine. <laughs> Counter target spell, you liar. So they're going to go for the turn two Swift Spear. They can get in for two damage. They missed their land drop, which is problematic for them. Although I am still not very ahead at all. We play the Golden Foundry into Wellspring into Wellspring, which puts us two thirds of the way towards 133. <laughs> we do get to draw some cards. We don't have any colored sources, so we may have to play out the Polluted Mire next turn. And we're going to yield, so we don't have to keep clicking. Lay out the Mirror Retriever. The Mirror Retriever, can, when it dies, can get back the uh, Expedition map, which can get us the Grotto for another color source. Then we don't have to use the Polluted Mire, and we can just cycle it later. This also chumps against the Swift Spear. What are you going to cast for two mana? Searing Blaze? Okay. That's a pretty good spell for them to have. So this is maybe some sort of burn hybrid. Not really like the Coldothalists. We play Expedition Map. Then we're going to draw, or uh, crack it for our Grotto, play the Grotto. We're going to yield to that. Another Golem Foundry. I think I'm going to put that on the top anyway. Wellspring, and draw the Golem Foundry, play it. So now we have a lot more uh, blockers past the turn. I wonder if they were just sandbagging their mountain just so they could get their steering blaze. Very possible. They're going to Lava Spike. We're going to yield until attacks. Gitu Lava Runner. Uh, what is this deck? Skewer You. Puts me to five. Uh, so I'm basically dead here no matter what, right? If I block here, I go to two. Let's just eat the Lava Runner. Ooh, Teachings. But we can't cast it. Darn. Cycle. Darn. We were pretty close. We kind of just needed colored sources there. Maybe I should have um, upkeep cropped. Mm -hmm. We're going to just do the same thing. Bring out everything, basically. Bringing in all of our board wipes and our... Uh, Weather the storms, any life gain we could possibly get in the deck. And yes, I'm going to bring in an Ancient Grudge because sometimes they relic me and submit it that way. Okay, we will like to play first, but we have to mulligan. We have close to Tron. Guess I'm going to keep. I'm going to put back the Quark and play out uh, Power Plant Star, pass a turn. Then I'm going to look to crack for Weather the Storm and then play Mirror Retriever. They go for a Rift Bolt, land, pass turn. So Rift Bolt is going to hit me. This means they are like some sort of Swift Spear burn. Okay, that's one spell. Land. Right now I have my finger on the OK key. They skewer me. Lava Spike. Okay. Green. We'll just uh, do a little three for one action here. Weather the Storm. Yoink. That was a pretty good counter spell, actually. So we now have Expedition Map. We can map for our missing Tron piece or map for the Grotto, but I think I want to get the missing Tron piece right now. And then I can play the Mirror Retriever next turn. Fire Blast, Lightning Bolt. Uh, ooh. Play Refractor. So this gets to draw me a card. Play Mirror Retriever. Let's dispute the Retriever. And then get back the Chromatic Star. I could have gotten back the Expedition map, but I didn't think it was necessary. Let's play out Refractor into Chromatic Star. Next turn we can uh, Teachings for Weather the Storm. We just have it, okay? Just have it. Pass the turn. 
Would you like to use your fire blast here, sir? Or madam? They go lightning bolt. Puts me to 35. Uh, not that bad of a life total. They might uh, shattering or smash the smithereens in my refractor. They do decide to use the fire blast into lava spike, into lava spike, into concede. No, they do not concede. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Max star. Uh, that's going to resolve. Black. We will bargain the star. Draw some cards. A deadly dispute. Okay. Fangin Marauder. Okay. Finally. We got him. Let's go. So they're, they are a burn deck. Don't know if Ancient Grudge is necessary or maybe like Scattershot, but I feel like, I feel like it's probably just wise to take the safe route. Okay, we have turn three Tron, assuming our opponent doesn't smash the Smithereens our expedition map. Then we can uh, Wellspring Refractor, uh, bargain the Wellspring to draw some cards. They mulligan to five, which uh, probably lets us play out this expedition map and not get have it get destroyed. Okay, their first play is an Epicure. We'll go mine into expedition map. They're gonna another Epicure, okay. Misses the land drop. So we're going to go to 17, draw a card, fetch the power plant to pass the turn. Here we go. Land, grab our power plant, and it's your turn. So it is pretty sweet here because we can go um, with the seven mana, uh, refractor into Wellspring, and then have the bargain up. Power plant, play the refractor. Just having that two life gain from it is going to be pretty important. I don't know if we need it yet. Mirror Retriever as well. They likely can only play one spell next turn. Mirror Retriever getting back Expedition Map is kind of shoddy though. We can save the... So one reason we'd want to play Deadly Dispute this turn instead of Icar Wellspring is Deadly Dispute will give us one extra mana on next turn. They play a land. So this is three damage. We're holding up uh, the bargain in case we need to play it. I feel like they have um, a Searing Blaze again. I'm going to Deadly Dispute. This gives us extra lands, or extra mana. Ancient Grudge. Okay, I'm going to play the Tower out. Play the Wellspring. Play... So I can make shift munitions now. And I can do my plan of uh, blasting their stuff. Hmm. So here we go. Makeshift munitions. Then play retriever, retriever. Into retriever. So now we can just block the Swiss spear and kill both of the epicures. Or we can reckoner's bargain to gain two life. All right, block, block, shoot this, getting back the wellspring, shoot this with the wellspring, okay, they're going to let that die, shoot this one, getting back the mirror retriever, and we have a lot of cards in hand. They're going to hit us for one, putting us to ten. No, zero. Yeah, because that one was blocked ahead of time. Chain Lightning, so we're not doing anything about that. Skewer puts us to five, and we have to find a Weather the Storm now. <laughs> okay, never didn't have it. Land, Star, Bobble, Play Retriever, uh, Crack for Black. Just basically doing whatever I want now because we have infinite mana. Not infinite mana, but we have the drawn. Drawn some cards. How can we get the max value? Four mana, five, one. That won't really work. So we can wellspring and then use the wellspring. Oh, we now find a crop rotation. So we can crop this for another spell. Grab the tower. 
This can be tapped for the mana. We're going to get back a Deadly Dispute. Uh, play Refractor. And just cast Weather Storm. There you go. Okay, so you can see here that regular burn is just not very well positioned. We'll see in round four. Round four, we're on the draw. We have exactly zero lands. And we are going to mulligan for sure. Boink. We have exactly one land, but we do have crop rotation and a second draw with the chromatic star, so I'm going to take a risk and keep this. They mold to five. What would be a mold of five? Maybe Bogles? Yes. Oh, uh, it's Walls? Come on. I would say that uh, Walls is the deck I, I like to face the absolute least, but I'm not sure. It's supposed to be Ponza as the worst deck in the world, right? Yield for this turn. So we <laughs> we face Kiln Fiend and Walls. Jasper Sentinel, two cards in hand. We find the land we need. So the question is, do we map for Tron? So we have Tron next turn, or just try to cantrip into it? I think we just try to cantrip into it. They have a Winding Way, revealing Forest, Quirion, Overgrown, Grizzly. Play the Quirion Ranger. We don't really have any way to disrupt them in the main deck. Overgrown Battlement comes into the play. So if they have a way to do infinite, okay. Black, Deadly Dispute, this Wellspring, we are looking for any land. Mine, so play this mine. Green, crop this mine. That was already tapped for Power Plant. Play Astronaut's Altar, I guess. Play the map, because we have extra mana. Pass the turn. We'd have to get extraordinarily lucky to win here. Our opponent is going to cast Shield Wall Sentinel for the Drift. Then they can just tap this to Drift. Then they can untap it. So they can just get the, um, what's his face? Free from the reel and win the game. Yeah, that's fine. Normal day. Just gonna cut. So we need the Karkline Shamans and the Scatter Shots. Don't need the wellspring or the weather storms, I mean. Don't need the bobbles. Don't need the blood fountain. We do need the blood fountain for getting back the shamans. Get this in. Scatter shots in. Need one more cut. Just cut one teachings. Alright. We're on the play. We're looking for Karkland shamans. We're looking for Tron. We have the Karkland shaman, but only one land, so we have to mulligan. We have Tron. Keep. Put back a bargain. Done. So we will have turn three Tron into Wellspring. And plus Expedition Map to get uh, a Black Source. Opponent goes for Caretaker. We grab our mine and pass the turn. Okay, they play a Quirin Ranger off their first or second land. Then they can tap Gorilla Shaman comes into the battlefield. Doesn't matter that much right now, but it could... Uh, matter. Let's play, I guess, the Deadly Dispute. They can eat the token, so that kind of sucks, or kind of stinks for us. Let's crack this for the Grotto. Play Wellspring. Uh huh. Play Wellspring. Now we are looking for our uh, Crocodark. Our Crocodile Shaman would really wreck them here. Opponent plays Overgrown Battlement. So I think we get in for two. There's a Kark. One, two, three, four. One. Okay, we can do everything. The Crystal Grotto. I messed that up. Um, play Mirror Kinsmith. That's going to grab us a Mirror Retriever. Then we play the Chromatic Star. And play out our Krark and sacrifice our board. <laughs> it 
and uh, that's gonna be fun. I guess they can like blow up one of our artifacts in response. Maybe I should play the Krark earlier because they can blow up the Chromatic Star now. Guess they're fine with it. Okay, blow everything up. And we actually even draw a Chromatic Star, which we can play. Now we're looking for Blood Fountains. We want to do it again. Play Shield Wall Sentinel, so they're going to rebuild very quickly. They're going to grab Axeman Guardian. Going to play Mirror Retriever into Dispute the Retriever. Getting back the um, Icar Wellspring. Maybe I should have gotten back the Kinsmith, but I don't think that's needed right now. Uh, let's play. Hmm. The question is, do I want to try to draw into more stuff? And I think I do. Play the Wellspring. Play the Chromatic Star. Crack this for black. Tower. Bargain the Wellspring. Okay, we drew a bunch of cards. We find our Blood Fountain. So we can play this. And actually, we can crop. But that doesn't help us very much. Black. Play Blood Fountain. And I will discard a Swamp. Not sure. I think Swamp, though. They play the Axe Bane Guardian and the Tinder Wall. I guess they don't really know how it goes. Oh, so now we combo. Foundry. Wait, I think this went through. Do I actually combo here? I don't know if I do. So let's let's hold back. Um, Blood Fountain, get back. Krark Retriever. Black. One, two, three. Star. Bottom this. Red. Play Kirk. Play Mirror Retriever, I guess. Or I can go Chromatic Star, Crack for Green. St hmm. I don't think it matters. Let's just play out the Mirror Retriever. Always yes, always yield on that one. And then we're going to go Sack. Sack. This is going to get back the Blood Fountain. Sack this. Sack this. That's a turn. We'll discard the crop rotation. So on the next turn, we blood fountain. Blood fountain back the stuff we want. So we go blood fountain here. We should have enough with the um, kinsmith to now go in, go off. Play altar. Play chromatic star. Crack this for black. Okay. Then we'll Blood Fountain back these two. Play the Mirror Retriever. And we win the game. All right. Can we win round three on the draw? We'll see. Just try to scatter them out. They mold a ton. We mold a ton. We'll see what happens. I think it's pretty awesome in this deck where you're just like looping everything with the uh, Blood Fountain over and over. I do like that. This is not a super fast hand. Okay, they're playing Jesper Sentinel. We're going to go land map in case we draw a Tron land. Jesper Sentinel into Quarian Ranger into Battlement. No, Winding Way. Okay, they find. Double Reap in the Graves gets binned, and oh geez, and a forest. That is tough. That was their out to the Krarks. We, we did find the Tron land. Okay. So far in the first two turns, we've been luckier than them. Let's see if it'll hold. My plan is to Wellspring into Star into Dispute the Wellspring, and then see what happens. Probably have to play out the Refractor. Or we could just go Refractor, Wellspring, Dispute the Wellspring. Okay, they're threatening lethal potentially on the next turn. They play Winding Way. Find Forest. They find another of these. Oh, crikey. 
land, play, I think I'm going to go Wellspring into Star, dispute the Wellspring. You find a correct land shaman. What can I do with that? I guess I can just go Refractor. Okay, crop rotation, this. That doesn't do that much though. Play the Mirror Retriever, pass a turn. Hope they don't kill me. Because if they don't kill me, then we'll kill them, all their stuff. Yeah, I don't see a way that we could have wiped their board this turn. Because we could have gotten rid of these two, but they would just play another Axe Bane Guardian. Uh, problems. Opponent cast lead the Stampede. They find the Galvanic Alchemist. It does cost three to untap. So they can play Caretaker, untap the Guardian. We just need them to not be able to win this turn. We play the second Guardian, or Caretaker. They have four mana available. They play another Axe Bane and a Quirion Ranger. They can untap this again. They have one Forest in hand. Wow, tight. Okay. Star. Play Altar. Land. Green here. We're going to crop this for a tower. Tap, one, two, three. Red here. Play Kirkland Shaman. Sacrifice this. Sacrifice this. Sacrifice this. Getting back the Wellspring. Then I'm going to sacrifice the Kirkland Shaman. Three to everything. Play the Wellspring and dispute it. Dispute the Wellspring. Play out a Chromatic Star. Pass the turn. Okay, I don't, not exactly sure what's going on in their hand. Uh, Axe Bane Guardian. Okay, pass. Let's play Wellspring. Land. Black. Oops. Looking for a Krark again. Find a Golem Foundry, bargain the Wellspring. So if I find, okay, we get Golem Foundry, Golem Foundry, always yes, always yield. Then we can make a ton of Golems. Mirror Retriever. Yep, we're always yesing on that as well. Sacrifice the Mirror Retriever to get back the Retriever. We'll loop this a couple of times and then Deadly Dispute the Mirror Retriever with some extra mana. Okay, so we can just Deadly Dispute the Retriever right now. Get back Mirror Retriever. We find uh, Mirror Retriever. Sacrificing this Golem token. Play the Mirror Retriever. And then we did not use our Cycle Land yet, so I'm going to make some mana here and then uh, use the Cycle Land. <sighs> Mirror Retriever. Make it some mana. Okay, Sacrifice. Let's get rid of these for now. Mirror Retriever. So we want to thin our deck as much as possible. Mirror Retriever. Get back Retriever. Okay, do it again. So now we have 8 mana available. Let's sacrifice this. Play Expedition Map. Crack the map. And then we'll grab the Cycle Land. We'll just uh, cycle first, I guess. Find the Scatter Shot. So we can now, I think, win the game. Play the Refractor. Okay. So now we just Mirror Retriever a few times. First I'm going to kill their thing so that they know they're dead. Do do do. Sacrifice this. Let's go over here. Grab the Mirror Retriever. One. Two. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Go red. Uh, blast this into oblivion. Gonna do yield through the turn. He dead. So everything's just gonna um, resolve a lot faster that way. And I'm gonna turn off the auto yields. 
play the mirror retriever and I'm going to set my windows up so that this looping is easier. Sacrificing the mirror retriever and the opponent gives us the GG's. We'll go to round five. Round five versus Casanova 13. I think they've been on black white. I'm going to have to see. Well, Goldfish says that they've been on mono white heroic in the past. And it looks like they're on mono red. This was a good hand no matter what, I think. Land, looking for another Tron land. Bottom that for now. Pass the turn. We're going to play the Wellspring and then hopefully dispute into crop. Sawblade Scamp, so this is a, a more, a newer version of the mono red. For some reason, I thought that this crop rotation in my hand was a, um, well, <laughs> weather storm when I first opened the hand, but it's not. <laughs> Reckless Impulse. So it's going to be the same kind of uh, battle for us. Nothing new, really. We take four. Next turn, we're going to take five. I think we just have to Deadly Dispute here. Although that puts a lot in the graveyard. Darn. Uh, yield through this turn. We're going to bin uh, an altar. I don't think we can win here. We have teachings. We can teach for weather if we get enough. So let's bottom the fountain. Or uh, graveyard the fountain. If we find a Tron land, we can crop to Tron and try to do stuff. We're going to take five right now. This is six, putting us to six. I think we're just dead. <sighs> Yuck. This puts us to two. Next turn, they have the double saw blade scamp. Just, just cast your fire blast like you want to, and I'll hit the concede button. Okay, that's enough. That is the two damage to win the game. Do -do -do -do. Bringing in our finger marauders. Just going to trim everything out. Uh, brought something weird in, didn't I? No. Okay, all my Krark's in. And one grudge. Submit the deck. Submit the. Let's go and win the post board. This has been just uh, blinding fast matchups uh, the entire time. Kind of crazy. All right, we're on the play. We have the weather. We have a dispute. I'm just going to keep this one. And we're looking for another land off the grotto here. So we have two draws to draw land, and then we can weather the storm, hopefully, uh, and just kind of buy some time into our board wipes. Grotto, find a refractor. Not going to be good enough, I think, in this position. So we we are going to just pass a turn. Passing again. They've got the Great Furnace into Epicure, so not a turn one Swifty. We're looking for that land. Did not find it. They now have four on the board. So if we find a uh, Krark off the top, that'd be great. Okay. This is actually a good spot because Deadly Dispute into Weather the Storm is now possible off the treasure token because we have one, two for Deadly Dispute and then one more. We could probably Deadly Dispute into Weather no matter what. I assume they will cast another spell. They get in for four, putting us to 14. But we have Deadly Dispute. Cast a Blast Runner. Deadly Dispute here. Green. Cast Weather Storm. Pass the turn. So we'll go Mine. I think we just try to play out our Tron. Play the map. Pass the turn. They have Reckless Impulse. Finding Epicure and Raze. So they have, we're hoping they don't have a land right now. Looks like they don't have a land. So let's see if they do though. They don't. We get our power plant. Power plant. Green. We play out our finger marauder. Um, play bobble. Bobble getting back the deadly dispute. And then we gain five life here. We draw a power plant, so if they go for the land that we just got, the power plant, then we have a backup. If they don't, then we'll have to start playing out random stuff. We do have a 5-5. Five five. Right now we cannot sacrifice any of our lands, though. I'm just going to F6. Our opponent played the Epicure out this turn. We go to 25. 
that early weather storm into a Fengen Marauder is really how you win the matchup, but uh, we have to close it by wiping their board with the Kark Clan Shaman. And they take out the tower. So we want to play a Mirror Retriever so we can block with the Mirror Retriever and get back the Expedition map. They play a Swift Spear and they're going to swing with just the 3 2. Scary Cat. Chromatic Star. That means we can play Star plus the Mirror Retriever. And then we can gain a bunch of life. <sighs> Opponent, I'm waiting. So we actually draw. No, we didn't draw anything. Okay, mirror trigger, your turn. Do 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 do. We're gonna get back our Tron. You can't stop me now. They're thinking it through. In a world where red decks face unbeatable odds, five life is gained at a time. Right now they have a ton of uh, damage on the table, though. The Reckless Impulse, and what are they going to see? Double Synthesizer. So at a minimum, they're not going to be able to cast both of those this turn. They may just wait on it. Go ahead. I'm a little bit concerned about a... Um, just gonna block here and get back the expedition map. We gain a bunch of life. I'm I was concerned about a gal blast in hand, so I did not block with the Fangen Marauder. This also allows us to get some damage in. But if I attack with the Fangen Marauder, they'll be less inclined to uh, not attack. They could definitely just be bluffing the the fire blast or the uh, gal blast in hand. They're gonna cast a synthesizer. Just for value, putting the synthesizer onto the table. Okay. Do I want to get a, a weather storm off? Sure. Green. Draw a card, play weather storm. Just gain in life. Another weather storm. <laughs> nice. Map. Crack the map for tower. We'll play at the tower and then go refractor. Yield to that. Refractor, and a another Weather the Storm, or we can play Blood Fountain and discard Weather the Storm. That might be even better, actually. Blood Fountain, discard Weather the Storm, draw a card, because we're only going to gain nine life off that. Let's just swing. I don't think they can deal forty-five. They might be able to. <laughs> you never know. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seal of Fire is probably going to take out my creature, but I can get it back. Seal of Fire plus a burn spell takes it out. We can go... Hmm. Probably have to Expedition Map into uh, Tower. Oh, come on. <laughs> Fine. Here's a map. Grab the Tower again. Tower, play tower, play wellspring, play wellspring. We're gonna play black, deadly dispute this wellspring, and just go ahead and cast blood fountain. Back up to 48 attack. I find it likely that they'll just be able to just kill my creature pretty soon. Now we have the double mirror retriever, and that means that we can finally. Uh, just start paying all their stuff if we get um, the makeshift munitions. Chain lightning will say no. And they will now seal a fire it, taking it out. Our poor creature. We can blood fountain it back. They make some tokens. I think I want to deadly dispute the wellspring. But I should probably just get my creature back. They have one card in hand. Because if I deadly dispute the wellspring into a Kark, it'll really end the game. Just do that. Hiya! Polluted Mire. There's the Kark Clan Shaman. So we play a Mirror Retriever. And then let's get back Retriever, Fanger Marauder. Play this land. Play a Mirror Retriever. Play out our Kark. And then we'll just wipe the board. Yeah. Yeah. So this is going to get back the Blood Fountain. 
And then this one is going to get back the Mirror Retriever. Pass the turn. We have eight cards in hand, so we'll have to discard something. I think it's going to be the Weather the Storm. But I don't know. Maybe it's just the teachings. Card Clan Shaman is a powerful card. <laughs> You're dead. Let's go. Gotta get that 4 1. Stick it to the man. Anytime we beat red, I feel good about it. Okay. This is a medium keep. We have double weather the storm, but if they have a lot if they go wide quickly, we're not looking for super good. And we can't weather it for a few turns. Bobble no. Play the map. They're looking for a land. Find a blast runner. Maybe they had land in hand the whole time. They did. Of course they did. We get in. Bam. Mine. We'll get a power plant. And pass the turn. So we're in this spot where we have to keep passing the turn and then hoping that they play into our weather the storms, which is not very good. Especially when they're dumping their hand right now. Go to 15. Oh, goodness. Yep. We take 8. Go to 5. Pass the turn. Guess we just whatever respond to whatever with the weather. It's not very good, though. Because we're at 5, they can literally do nothing. They can just... So now we have to weather the storm. Pass the turn. And if they have a lightning bolt, we're dead. <laughs> that sucks. Easy game for them, for sure. Because we are on the draw here, we lose. If we were able to play out the Wellspring first, we would have won. So maybe I should have just played the Wellspring instead of playing the map. Yeah, that was probably a mistake there. Interesting league. Um, unfortunately, you know, we faced a lot of uh, super fast decks. Hmm. I think uh, Combotron... Ultratron is pretty good. I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way to go faster without like losing the density of draw and stuff, but not really sure. I uh, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next video.